this is the top one all right so I want that one to start coming from the right don't I don't want to exceed where it's at so I'll leave this one alone I go coming from the right so I take my my um, arrow keys on my keyboard and then I move move my arrow to the right see it might look a little funny that means I might change that I don't think I like it like that Yeah, I think I might change it because if you see, just try anywhere to see what it looks like. That's ugly. I don't like it like that. All right. So what do we do when we want to backtrack everything? You can either just kick Control Z, L A to get to the way you had it before, or you can um, just click on this, right click, hit hit Remain Tween. I think Control Z is so much easier. You know, but because I don't like doing the other extra, so I kind of get confused. So I go ahead and hit Control Z, Control Z, just keep hitting it until it gets down to without the without the motion tween. I don't need it anymore. So let's bring it back down to one. All right. Now let's try this again. I think I might just have to just bring it in the <clears throat> same way as I brought the other stuff in. You know, something simple. So frame seventy, right click in the middle, right click, and then I'll do this. And then I click on this color alpha zero. That's it. Now I enter my last frames right here, and I am about I am basically done with this whole flash band. Now I hit enter from the beginning to see how everything shows up. And that's it. Now there's a a action script, a script that everyone should know when starting Flash, is called Stop. That's basically simple as that. Is everybody needs to know when starting Flash because it helps a lot. Because you don't want your, especially if you don't want your um your banner to keep moving back and forth, move back and forth. You know, you're not gonna always like that. So you don't want to keep going front and back or going from the beginning. Okay. Um, so it's called stop. So you go ahead and go to the top. I go to the top and I hit this button right here and I just click it and it gives me a brand new layer. Alright, so now what I usually I can use the name a whole action script. You can double click to rename it. Action script. You know that again. Action script. Alright, and I hit enter and I was selected. So now I go right here nothing in it yet so I go right here click on it right click and hit insert keyframe now I have a frame I can put some script in so now what I have to what I like to do is go ahead and exit out of this because that's already up there from my other ones I'm gonna show you how to insert how, this is where you would go about inserting um, script into your action script layer so I go up here just make sure it's selected and I go to window and I go to action which is also F9 alright so you click on this and it brings up your window you see so this is where as it starts off with one of course and you just put in your script so I said stop because I don't want my image to keep on going over and over again I don't want to keep playing the same thing over and over again that's not how I want it to be displayed so I go ahead and type in stop make sure you STOP then you go to your parentheses open and close and then you go to your semicolon and that's it that's all you need to know. As of right now, if you're starting off Flash and there's no other script that you know, make sure you know stop. It's very necessary and it helps out a lot without making it look like you don't know what you're doing when it comes to your Flash. So you can click on it to bring it up, click on it to bring it down. So now you see they got the little A in here. That just means I have some action script in there. I have some script in my action script layer. So now. I want to save it. You see, it's still not saved, it's still untitled. So I want to save it. Should have saved it before. Make sure as soon as you start these flash banners, to um, make sure you save them like any other file, so you don't lose any information or so you can keep track of your stuff. Make sure you save it. So now I go down here and I see. It. Go ahead and find where I want to insert it. Uh, tutorials. Start a flash banner. All right. Let's do what I call it. I guess to flash banner. 
step one. Alright. And that's basically it. And now what you're going to do is to see it, because it already saved, to see it, you hit Control Enter or you can hit File and Publish. I hit Control Enter, they say something else, doesn't matter. So just publish it and then you'll see what it looks like. Or not. Okay, I was wrong about that. Scratch that. Okay, just hit Control Enter. See, everything's coming up. There it is. There it is. There it is. Something simple, but it works. All right. Now, because I put a stop, it's not gonna keep playing over and over again. Now, watch. When I do put, when I take the stop off, go back to this, hit this action frames thing. Remove the stop. All right. Now hit delete. Now go back to it. Now try hit Control Enter, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You got that. Got that. All right. Now you think it's done, all right? Nothing else is gonna come up, right? No, because it's took the stop away. It's playing over again. Now, if you don't, if you want that, that's fine. If you don't want it, then you put the stop in there. Now, I just realized something too. I'm looking at it. I got this line right here that I actually want under my Fifth Avenue. Um, let's see, where's that line at? It was this one. So I want it under. There we go. So you just like that. Just like that. Just move it. Just move the frame. It doesn't mess up. Move the layer. It doesn't move, mess up the frames. If you don't want, if you wanted to go back, then hit Control Z. And I go ahead and hit Control Enter to see everything play out again. I don't think I put the stop button in, it, did I? All right. Go back to Action Script to Actions Layer. Stop. There you go. Close that. Control Enter. Got that. And that's it. Alright. It goes all the way to the end, but it stops. That's all we need. And that's it. Hit Control, hit X, and you're good. Um, I hope this helped. The next videos I actually have where you can have more effects on your um, Flash banner. You don't have to have a lot of stuff on it, but you know it's up to you. However you want to decide to do it, that's like I said. Hope you have any. If you have any questions, just comment me. Leave them on my YouTube on this video, and just let me know if I missed something. You let me know, and I will go back and you know tell you how to do it, or I'll add it to my next videos. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope it helped out a lot. And that's it. I'm signing off right now.